Hi, I'm Doug Baker, Director of Sales here at Teledyne Hastings, and today I'm going to tell you about controlling pressure with the digital 300 view flow controller from Teledyne Hastings. Now, many viewers probably already know that a flow controller measures flow and then compares the flow measurement to the user's set point command. Then internally, the flow controller decides how to adjust the proportional solenoid valve. So, in the flow control mode, the flow signal is the feedback in the control loop. But now here's the cool thing. We can use a pressure signal as the feedback instead of the flow signal to control the valve. In this mode, the instrument becomes a pressure controller. So now let's take a look at how that's going to work. The 300 view has an external input pin, pin number one right here, which can accept an analog pressure transducer signal. So this is very flexible. We can take in a 0 to 10 volt, 0 to 5 volt, 0 to 20 milliamp or 4 to 20 milliamp signal. And it can be either positive pressure or vacuum. Now, we can send our command signal using the same type of analog signal. Let me show you how quickly and easy it is to set up the configuration on the 300 view. First, I'm going to tell the instrument that I want to use the external input pin. This leads to an A to D converter in the 300 view. So to do this, I'm going to go to menu and then flow control. I go page down and I'm going to change the process variable from the flow sensor to that A to D which is connected to pin 1 on the D connector which we showed earlier. Alright, the other thing I've got to do is to select how I'm going to enter the command signal. Alright, so right now the unit is set up to in the digital command mode which means that if I enter a command on the front panel, it'll respond if I send a command via RS-232, 485, or USB. So I want to take it from uh, the digital command mode into an analog command mode. All right, so to do that, I go here, menu, flow control, and I'm going to make the set point source now analog. I've put together a small vacuum system here. Here's our vacuum chamber region right here. The pump is this nice oil-free scroll pump from Scroll Labs. It has a pumping speed of 5 liters per minute. It will reach pressures below 0.1 torr. I really like it because it runs off of DC voltage. Nice pump. I've also placed a small butterfly valve right here so I can quickly change the pumping speed. All right. Now for our pressure signal, I'm going to use the Teledyne HPM 760S vacuum gauge. It's easily powered using a small DC power supply. Now remember, we're going to take the output from the 760S and put it in to the digital 300 views external input pin we discussed earlier. I've also got one of our single channel power supplies, the THD100 hooked up. And it's just supplying power. It's not required for reading the pressure, but we're going to see the pressure on the 300 views display. One more thing about this setup. You'll notice that I have upstream of the flow controller. Upstream is drawing air from the atmosphere. The downstream side here is connected to the vacuum system. All right, now let's get the pump turned on. There's a convenient button on the back of the pump, and you'll see the pressure de decrease when I open the butterfly valve. Now we are ready to enter a pressure as the command signal. We'll use 100 Tor. If I were doing this with one of our analog power supplies, I would need to ensure that we would be in the analog command mode, as I demonstrated earlier. For this demonstration, I'm using a slightly modified version of the Digital 300 firmware, which allows the user to see the pressure and enter a pressure set point as command. So I'm using the digital command mode. Now we will set it back to zero Tor, the valve closes and the pressure drops again. I want to thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions about pressure measurement, vacuum measurement, flow control, or pressure control, you can contact any of the applications engineers here at Teledyne Hastings. Thanks again.